This photo was taken three or four years ago of me and my little friend Mai, who's a student at the Anlin Love School here in Saigon. Anlin was established back in 1990 by a Catholic charity to provide education to disadvantaged families who would otherwise be unable to put their kids in public school. It started out very small, with only 17 students. Today, Anlin has over 200 students, from age 7 to 19. SSIS has had a relationship with the Anlin Love School for several years now, and every year our middle school students put on a food and supplies drive to support the Anlin School. Our project, it started out a number of years ago before I got here. The school used to donate one sort of canvas tote bag full of non-perishable food items for the kids to take home to help them through the month and a half when they're home for summer break. We've grown that into last year getting enough donations to give each kid that canvas tote bag, but then also have about two and a half trucks of food more that we just donate to the school itself, which means they're then using that money to buy books or computers or whatever they need to improve the education at their school. What's important about this project is not just the donation aspect of it, but the experience that our middle school students are getting from a social and professional perspective. The drive itself is actually the culmination of a long unit of study during which our students are learning everything from how to write proposals how to track orders. How to write an email to your boss someday. How to set up a business letter. How to conduct themselves professionally over the phone. To how to properly shake someone's hand. Learning that sort of professional respect, but also understanding that there's humanity involved in all communications. They're getting real world experience, not only through service learning, but by working with our community of business leaders and professionals. My family donated uh, money and my partner's family actually got the companies contacted. It took a lot of trial and error. We had to contact a lot of separate companies, but in the end, we got the donations. In seventh grade, we look more at the persuasive side of things, looking at how to persuade people to donate, how to get people involved in helping others. And so when it comes to Anlin, we start with doing some research on the school and we look at who are these kids, where are they coming from, and once we get those details down and what the food drive does and how it helps the kids, then the seventh graders can actually take that info to the rest of SSIS. So that's the seventh grade side of things. It's persuasive, looking at ethos, pathos, logos, and the different uh, appeals that you can do to your audience. Over the years, the project has evolved. It's become more efficient. The donations are greater and more useful to the school. Our students' individual roles have become more varied, and the relationship with online has only gotten stronger. Our rooms have already begun to fill up with boxes, and so they can go and share that. The second grade, for example, was so engaged in what the seventh graders had to tell them, and the second graders were asking just these really thoughtful questions about, okay, who are these kids? What should I bring? What does non-perishable mean? Once these businesses do the major donations, we're able to fine tune it and say, okay, here's what we're really missing. We really need powdered milk. We really need canned vegetables, canned meats. SSIS, go. They only have like one small TV for hundreds of kids. When I see how much the TVs meant to them, it was really touching. So I've been tagging along over the years, trying to get all this on film. This year, our two schools worked together to host a sort of carnival at the end to celebrate the project. Sure enough, each year I'm happy to see my little friend Mai come running over to check out my camera and pose for a picture. Even better are the smiles on all the other kids' faces, kids of all ages, from both schools. Because don't forget, this is a fully integrated language arts and social studies unit that's built into our curriculum. The beauty of it is how it also instills a commitment to service by offering students the opportunity to work professionally within the greater community and to be proud of a job well done. I think our teachers put it best. It's part of the curriculum. It's seamlessly worked into what they have to do for language arts class. And so when you get students who are highly motivated, who have these connections outside of the school, 
and they're working on something for class, everything comes together and they're able to do great, great things. Overall, they say three things. I kind of saw another side that I knew existed, but I didn't know it existed. Uh, that would be number one. Number two, they say, I knew we were affecting people, but I didn't know how much we were really affecting people. And number three, they say, I realized sort of what I can do if I want to do it. Empowerment was one of the biggest words I got from all of them, and that's one of the words I want to hear.